Shut up and sit down. And is that I see so many brown faces in the crowd. Like, I thought we didn't participate in politics. What's going on? I, I thought we didn't vote. Like, if someone walked in right now, they think this is a class for tech support right now. Like, you guys know that stereotype, and you probably lived through it too. Like, uh, oh, my laptop's not working. You know how to fix it, boy? Uh, sir, have you changed it off and on, sir? Well, that's the problem. I can't turn it on, boy. Uh, sir, there is nothing else on it I can do. But have I answered all your questions in a timely and satisfactory manner? Uh, no, you haven't, boy. Sir, sir, please, please. On a scale of 1 to 10, how helpful was the session? Now, uh, Mike, here's another thing, like, uh, about brown people, and mainly Indians, too. Like, my mom's religious, and, like, my grandmother's more religious. So, like, any typical Sunday morning, my mom might just go, like, uh, Boba. Uh, by the way, Boba is the nickname my mom gives me, along with a million others, because she treats me like a two-year-old. Like, oh, Boba, we're going to the good water today. Oh, yes, we are. Oh, go brush your teeth. Oh, go take a shower. I love you. Now, if I, if I ever dared say, like, uh, Mom, well, what if I'm an atheist? Like, what if I don't believe in God? Like, you know what messed up? Because the next thing she'll do is bring out the theatrics. No. Not my son, no, no. You will believe in God. You will be a doctor. You will go to the good water. Now get ready, you bother. You bother kids at Taliba. Here's another thing about Indians. Like, we're, we're not racist. We're the nicest people on the planet. Like, my dad was in India a while ago, and there was a line for tourists and foreigners, and there was a separate line for Indians for the Taj Mahal. I went to my dad and I was like, Dad, don't you think it's a bit discriminatory to put Indians and, like, uh, to put tourists and foreigners in the separate line? And it's like, no, son, no, son, we put them on the happy line. Uh, I said, who's it happy for? He said, the government, the doors pay extra. And Indian parents, too, they're not racist, but they just want their kids to marry white people and Indian people, that's it. And they, you know that saying, right? Uh, no, no chine, no kale. Like, like if you ask them, say like, uh, well, why don't you want to give them a chance, like a choice? Why do you force them to marry only Indian and white people? They'll say like, uh, I just want the best for my kid. I mean, a bunch of gori gori chayli. Thank you for having me. And uh, Zaid, it's great that he was able to create a giant crowd for a political event, which is normally boring. So I think we should give a round of applause to Zaid, too. Thank you.